five key steps that have completely transformed my life. Now, I'm sitting here in my home in Dubai, living a life that I never thought I would have. But the one thing that I have been is intentional about progress. And I've been very intentional about some key steps. And I want to share them with you today. And as I go through them, just put in the comments below one, two, three, four, five points. And let me know which one has resonated with you the most or that you're going to implement into your own life. Point number one is I set new standards for myself and I constantly sense check the standards that I live my life by. Going back years now, when I started out in the fitness industry, I was introduced to the work of Tony Robbins, as many of you will have been or will do from watching this video. And Tony Robbins used to say that the quality of your life depends on the quality of your standards and obviously still does to this day. But one other person that showed their standards and talked about their level of standards was the late Charles Poliquin. He was a great mentor of mine, somebody that I learned a great deal from. But I would travel to events and watch and listen to his standards and expectations. You know, when coaches came to his training seminars, if they weren't strong, if they didn't learn and apply themselves and he couldn't see growth and progression and development in themselves, in them, he wouldn't pay you much interest or give you many compliments. And at first it was quite challenging from me for me to actually just be a part of this and watch him not really giving much attention to people that really weren't doing that well and weren't progressing that much. And I went away from the event, the first event I was at, and I thought he's, he's more impressed with people that actually do stuff with what he's teaching, not people that are coming back time and time again and just doing the same or people that aren't in shape. And he would talk about the standards he has for himself. And I was like, well, the guy's jacked, he's strong, he's knowledgeable, and he kind of has a, a level in which you have to play at to sit at the table with him and listen and learn and talk to him. And I thought, well, I want to be there. And I want to get recognized and have his respect. So I realized that I had to step up. I had to step up how lean I was, how big I was, and how strong I was in the gym. Then I realized very quickly that when I went to the next event, and I remember squatting in the gym, and he walked past me, he's put my hand on the shoulder, and he, my shoulder, and he went, great work. And it was towards the end of the training session. I was like, wow, what did I do? I improved myself. I stepped up a new level of standard. And I thought, well, standards give you better recognition and bring things your way because we went for, for a meal at lunchtime and I sat on the same table, I asked questions and I thought, well, if I set bigger standards for me and align myself with what other people's high standards are, will the quality of my life change? And it did. And then I used to go down to London and I would sit in the coffee shops and restaurants in the more wealthier areas of London. I'd look at people, I'd look at waiters, and I'd be very intrigued when I'd fly on planes. I'd look at the difference between people going into the business class and, and economy, and I was weighing up what is the difference. And th there's a lot higher standards in service, in people's expectations of themselves. At every time I leveled up my standards, my coaching results improved, my knowledge improved because I expected more from myself with my coaching. Um, and the quality of my life improved, what I could earn improved. So the takeaway from this for you all is the quality of your life will change and transform the higher standards you set for yourself. Point number two, and I've been doing this since I was 24, 25. I learned about vision planning and I learned about it when I was 24, 25. Didn't actually really start writing as deep a vision master plan, writing down what I want my life to look like until I was in my early 30s. I was very intentional in my head about where I wanted to get to with my vision, but I never used to write it down. Writing it down changed the game for me. Where do I want to be in 12 months' time? What do I want my life to look like in 12 months' time? So 2024 now, January, what do I want my life to look like in January 2025? What do I want to have seen happen during that time frame? And what transformed my life was saying a year from now, what do I want my life to look like? And then writing it down as if it's already happened. It was realistic. I didn't say, oh, I want to be earning X, which was unrealistic in 12 months, or I want to be living Y, that's unrealistic in a short period of time. Putting down something that's likely to happen, but stretching myself enough to make sure that I'm inspired enough to do the work. Every year that vision has come true. But every single year I realized that, wow, I've exceeded what I thought. So then I set the bar higher for the next one and the next one. So creating a deep vision, as much detail as you can physically put into your vision plan will transform your life.
Just wanted to stop the video for two seconds. Now, if you find my content helpful and you want to learn more from me, you want access to resources, you want more free trainings and live weekly webinars, then make sure you click the link in the description. Make sure you head over to my Impact and Integrity free Facebook group. Now, let's get on with the video. Number three is I turned myself into somebody worth following. I realized that a personal brand is where your net worth is going to come from. People are buying into you. So I looked at me and went, okay, am I going to blend in and be the same as everybody else or am I gonna make myself stand out? Okay, what do I need to do? Well, the first thing that I did is I said to myself, I want better results than any personal trainer in this gym. I want better results than any personal trainer. And I set my stall. I set a minimum expectation of the result that I wanted to produce and that was it. And then when I reached that, then I set the bar even higher. Then I said, okay, everybody else has got a half decent body shape. How do I take mine to the next level? I put 10 kilos of muscle on. Okay, go. What do I need to do? Who do I need to be trained by? I need to have a better mind. I need to be more in control of my mind. Who do I need to learn learn from and develop under their guidance of? So I started looking at areas of me and going, okay, for people to follow me, like me, and trust me, who do I need to become? What do I need to do in order to get there? And honestly, I looked at the knowledge that I didn't have. I looked at the body that I didn't have. I looked at the brain that I didn't have and go, well, would I become more authoritative if I did all these things and put my results to a level that people set up a notice? Yes. Did that take a long time? 10 years of work that went into that. But I now have a brand and a reputation and a credibility that's helping us make more money and helping more people year on year and building a bigger team. So I turned myself into somebody worth following. What is this guy doing? I'm interested to know what he's doing and I want to join a program that actually helps me to get to where he's got to or the team around him. So you've got to turn yourself into somebody worth following. The next thing was I hired a personal development coach. You see, the quality of your life depends on the quality of your mind. 90% of business problems and life problems are personal development problems. It's this. Now, much like fat loss, client doesn't know how to lose weight, they reach out to you and you teach them. Piece of cake. Somebody doesn't understand how to build a house, they go and find an architect. They pay an architect. I couldn't figure out my mind. I was lost. I was, I was confused. I was challenged. I was nervous, anxious. Couldn't see a way forward. So I hired somebody that I knew could do that, much like an architect will design a house and show you what your vision looks like. My personal development coach helped change my life because when I changed my mind, I changed my life. And then I'm becoming more intentional and I give myself the opportunity to have more, be more, and do more. And then the final one, Point number five is I hired a mentor. Now, a mentor is just somebody that's ahead of you. I hired people ahead of me in business and in coaching. I had physique coaches, um, bodybuilding coaches, business coaches, email marketing coaches. You know, everybody in, a, in an individual field that I wanted to learn more from and be more, I paid them to learn from. And with every stepping stone, whether or not it was setting high standards, whether it was creating a deep, deeper vision, whether it was building myself into somebody worth following, hiring a personal development coach or hiring mentors or coaches in different fields, the work that I've done in each one of those five areas has leveled up my life, meaning, and impact and income more than I ever, ever could have imagined. And I know for you, if you look at each one of those five areas, there's a good chance that you're not doing one of those right now. And if you started to do it, it would completely transform your life too. So points one to five, put them down below. I'd love to hear which one's giving you the most um, impact and what you're going to apply. And uh, click the link in the description on this video if you want to know more about how it can help you take your business and life to the whole next level. If you are listening on iTunes, then make sure you send me a DM on Instagram, connect with me, say hi, or share the podcast on Instagram stories. For now, please click like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. And I hope you found this video helpful. I'll speak to you soon.